variety information now keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times we are the source w-o-c-a all right thank you 25 minutes before 11 o'clock let me tell you what the temperature is just so that you can feel good about living here it is 66 degrees <laughs> a little cool i don't know uh, where our next guest is we'll find out in just a second um christmas obviously is what, what are we now 21 days away from christmas yep this is the time of year uh, that a lot of people like my dog loves christmas mm-hmm. she couldn't care less about santa claus <laughs> she couldn't care less about gifts. What she likes are the nuts in the stockings. Yeah. The stocking nuts, I like to call them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the walnuts. I, I, I don't know why we, I don't know how that became a tradition in my home. It might be in yours. I don't know. But it, I, obviously, I'm not the only one. When you go to the grocery store, they're like giant bins full of mixed nuts, mm-hmm. right? Oh, yeah. Still in the shelf. So uh, they end up in the bottom, in the stockings that are hung by the artificial chimney. Mm-hmm. And, and the dog loves them. And uh, of course, then you have to step on the nutshells and. Our guest might not think it's a good idea to serve nuts to dogs. I don't know. <laughs> My dog would disagree. Uh, yeah. Kristen Levine is on the phone. She's also known as the Wizard of Paws. She's a renowned pet lifestyle expert and a best-selling author. Her book is called Pampered Pets on a Budget. And she's coming on to talk to us today a little bit about the specifics of keeping our pets safe and happy during the holidays. Uh, Kristen Levine. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm your neighbor. I'm I'm down here in the Tampa Bay area. Oh Not man. See, nice. Oh man. <laughs> See, I was trying to rub it. I thought you were calling in from Connecticut or something like that. Oh no. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so you should come into the studio one day and do the show. I would love to do that. I absolutely would love it. Um so and I'll, can I bring Chili, my dog? Oh, how nice. Chili the dog that would be, be good great. too. The chili the food would be good too. Mm. <laughs> no, we could have your dog on yeah, camera. That'd be Larry, wonderful. I'm not. There's a. <laughs> that'd be awesome. I, I have to say, Larry, I, I'm not. You're right. I'm not a big fan of of the, your dog getting the nuts in the stocking. Oh no! That's not a good well, idea. Let, let me say this first of all. I, I, I'm apologizing for the technology. It sounds like there's a big delay, and so we'll try to work with that. But I apologize for that. It's making it seem a little bit awkward. Okay, so let me uh, ask why. What's wrong with walnuts for dogs? My dog loves walnuts. Walnuts are the are her favorite. Well, are we talking about? Walnuts, is it in the hard shell or are yeah. they already shelled? No, they're in the hard She likes to break them open. She's very good at it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're making me so nervous. Oh, goodness. Well, first of all, you know, she could potentially crack a tooth cracking those nuts open. She's 14 and years old. She's in perfect secondly, health. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, she's 14 years old and you're letting her, cra- you're using her as a nutcracker? <laughs> For herself. <laughs> she does it herself. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have nothing to do with it except for the fact that I put them there. <laughs> I am sending my vet to your house right now. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything wrong with the nut itself? If I crack it for her, is that, is that okay? In very small quantities. Oh, okay. Very small quantities. You know, that's actually, you know, this time of year is the busiest time for the veterinary emergency hospital. (laughs) And for reasons such as this, you know, our pets tend to get into things that aren't normally around the house. You know, we've got lots of great food and we're cooking and we're having parties and we have candy and decorations. And there's just trouble around every corner potentially for your pet. So, we want to avoid those unexpected trips to the vet, vet hospital, for sure. And, you know, I've been telling pet parents for the past couple of weeks um, some great tips on how you can keep your pets safe and comfortable during the holidays. And for dogs, and definitely for your dog, Larry, to keep, keep him away from the nuts, is you need a crate. Do you have a dog crate? No. What is, you mean just a box? <laughs> no, not a box. A crate? <laughs> so... My dog, my dog Chili, he has a crate. Our favorite is the AKC crates and kennels. They're available at Home Depot stores in the fencing section. You can get them online at homedepot.com. And a crate is the best tool any dog owner could ever have. And you're only going to buy it once, and it's going to last for the entire lifetime of your dog. You put your and dog in the crate? Why. First of all, yeah, you put the dog in the crate. And and oh, the, I don't. The AKC crates are beautiful. They're 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 <laughs> they're. they're they're well made. They're easy to assemble. No tools required. And but let me tell you why it's important. 
and why your dog will love it. Okay. Because dogs are, by nature, they are denning animals. You know, in the wild, they will, uh, wild dogs, and before dogs were domesticated, would seek out little cubby holes to, to get, you know, to sleep in or to get, a, you know, to, right, to, to right. chill out in. And that's why um, a crate is such a great tool for your pet. So there's a crate. My dog, Chili, mm-hmm. He, oh, I'm sorry. He goes in there all the time. I leave the door open, and when he wants to get away, when he's had enough, when he is tired, he goes in his crate on his own. Okay. But by the same token, I can proactively put him in his crate if I don't want him. Let's say I, ha- I have to go to work. I'm going to be gone for about four, four or five hours, yeah. and I don't want him getting into the decorations. So. So really, it's a it's a great tool not only for their own safety but for their comfort as Look, well. Can I ask you a, little, a question about the crate itself? And, and I want to tell you why I'm asking. Because here's why I'm asking. First of all, it sounds like the crate looks more like a cave than a cage. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Well, the AKC crate actually it's it's made of wire, so it does look like a cage. Oh, well, like but a the, cage. The benefit of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. No, I was saying in the wild they would look for more of a, like a cave type. You know, uh, no natural s- cages. <laughs> so my dog wouldn't but go for that. I, 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 I know it's probably a good idea for most dogs, but my, I tried this once when she was younger. <laughs> <laughs> she was like a cat. Oh, yes. She was like a cat <laughs> that you were trying to put into the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know what that's like. Well, I tell you what, you know, the the only time really the crate can be uh, uh, used improperly is when the pet is placed in there for either too long of a time or when it's used um, as a negative, uh, as a, a tool for punishment. Punishment, yeah. Never want to use the crate for that. Punishment. Now, absolutely, when you put a dog in any crate for the first time, you know, there's that, I'm sure they're going to bark and cry and whine. <laughs> And, and actually, they make great training tools for a new pet that you're bringing into the home because it teaches them, it gives them boundaries, first of all. It protects them from getting into things they shouldn't be getting into. And it also helps to housebreak them. So, um, you know, they, because dogs normally will not soil the area where they sleep. So the crate is a great way for them to learn that they don't go potty in the house, they go potty outside the house. By the way. And so you'll definitely want ooh, Thank you. Yeah. I, 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 by the way, I found this, I'm not going to name the brand, because in fact, I don't even know the brand, but I found these, they're not cookies, but they're like little, it said all pure beef, there's no filler or nothing, and, it, mm-hmm. and my dog loves them. They're not beef jerkies, and they're, they sound, when she eats them, like they're puffy, <laughs> like, like, like cheese, cheese puffs. puffs. Yeah, but made wow. out of... Yeah, they're good. I mean, she acts like they're good. I don't know if they're good or not. But. Is it like? Is it like? Um, like sound like beef popcorn kind of like? Yeah, popcorn yeah, yeah. The way it sounds in the mouth. I mean, I'm not going to try it, but it sounds <laughs> puffy. <laughs> I'll be snacking at your house later. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had more time with you, Kristen. This Come is on, a fun com- a conversation. <laughs> uh, you do. Uh, emphasize though that that pets are good for people in their older years starting in their 50s yeah absolutely i i really am a big fan of um pets having pets for our lifetime and you know i've seen this with my as my parents age and i actually lost my father last year and i i saw firsthand how their pets helped them through some, some life changes that happen to baby boomers, like whether we're in their 50s or 60s or 70s. Um, and pets are just not only great sources of companionship, but they, they encourage us to be more socially engaged. They encourage us to be more active by you know, exercising, by taking them for walks every day. And, you know, pets are just a great non-judgmental companion. Oh, yeah. It is there for us. Let me tell you, if, you, if, you walk, women, you know, if you're a guy and you're walking a dog in the park and you hit on a woman, Mm-hmm. She's basically going to ignore you, yeah. even if you have a dog. But yeah. as soon as you tell her that you spent five thousand dollars for surgery to fix the dog because you found it in the, in a dumpster, yes, she's going to love you. Yes, she is. And it has <laughs> nothing to do with the fact that you can afford five thousand dollars on a dog. <laughs> it's going to be that you must love this dog. <laughs> See, my first thought was, "There's got to be the money." Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe she's just impressed that you you have demonstrated that you can make a commitment to another being. I think it's the maybe commitment it's to make money. Well, money. you know what? I'm hoping you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's <usually the> money. <laughs>
<laughs> Kristen, you are fun. That's a fun conversation. Uh, Pampered Pets on a Budget. How do we get the book? You can get the book at pamperedpetsonabudget.com, and it's also on, on my blog, which is kristenlevine.com, and that's also where you can find more information about the AKC crates and kennels at Home Depot. Oh, excellent. Uh, Christine, thank, uh, Kristen, thank you so much for being on with us today. I apologize for the delay. It made it a little bit awkward. If you Seriously, if you're ever in Ocala, we'd love to have you in the studio. With chili. I would love to come up there, and, and I'll bring chili. Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Thanks, guys. Well, have a great holiday. Whatever you celebrate, thank you for being on the air with us. And I, I love the advice. Don't, and I'll, I'll take your advice. And no more walnuts for my puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> No more nuts for the dog. You're going to end up at the vet. All right. Mark my word. All right. I'll use that popcorn beef I got or whatever it's called. Uh, We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Fog early, otherwise partly sunny today. There may be a shower in spots along the coast, the high 77 to 81. Tonight, partly cloudy with a brief shower or two near the coast, low 60, well inland 67 on the coast. Tomorrow, more sun than clouds. Again, there can be a shower or two around during the afternoon hours, the high 77 to 81. For Saturday, clouds and some sun with an afternoon shower, high 77 to 81. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at pennflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Experience Christmas at Gaylord Palms, November 15th through January 4th with Ice featuring the Nutcracker. Relive your favorite scenes from the classic ballet, hand-carved in more than 2 million pounds of ice sculptures and slides. Enjoy a special bonus area, the Frostbite Factory, and watch artisans from Harbin, China carve amazing ice sculptures before your eyes. Your awe-inspiring experience concludes with the wonder of the nativity in ice. For tickets and packages, visit Christmas at GaylordPalms.com. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370. WOCA. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on W...